Peggy 18. Hi, my name is Ashraf Ismail, game director of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and I am proud to be showing you our city's stealth and main assassination walkthrough. At this point in the story, we're going after a man named Julian Ducas, an arms dealing Templar. To get him, we're gonna head to Havana to build up Edward, but on our way, we're gonna let ourselves get distracted by this unidentified cavern. To access this specific cavern, you need a diving bell. The diving bell is a real 18th century device that sailors and pirates use to access deeper waters, shipwrecks filled with treasures, and secret entrances to caves and cenotes. Here, you're getting a little taste of the underwater. A lot of ambient life, predators, fish, a very lively and dense environment, and this is something that we're really able to push with the next gen, to have this really incredibly dense and detailed environment. As you can see, Edward does not have his weapons or tools. This is the risk you take when you access the underwater caves. Let's whistle to attract this guard's attention. This specific enemy is what we call an agile. They carry blades. Taking him out allows us to take his blade and use it for ourselves. We've also enhanced the ego vision so that you can tag enemies and see them through walls. It's important for us to push the stealth and make it a viable way to play this game if you choose to. Now that we've caused a distraction, this guard begins to investigate. We can take that to our advantage and take him out. Disarming is another tool that you have as an assassin to steal the enemy's weapon and gain the advantage. Being a great assassin makes you a better pirate. Once you learn and master the tools you have in your hands, you'll be able to stealth through almost any situation. Everyone has this picturesque vision of what the Caribbean is. The next gen has helped us deliver on this promise and dream. Now that we finally reach Havana, one of our three major cities, along with Kingston and the Pirate Haven Nassau. Each city has a unique flavor and feel. Havana is a Spanish-styled city. It was built as an homage to the cities from AC2. We love the roof running and the verticality of those cities, so Havana was built with that in mind. <coughs> cities are great places to find a lot of activities, shops, and ways of making money. We'll earn money by doing this contract and taking out a local Templar. This is a side activity and not one of the main assassinations. We have many of these and it's a great way to earn cash. Climbing and free running is very important to the brand, as you can see. Havana has been built with this in mind. Lots of ways of getting on roofs and finding access to hidden areas. Now that we're near the target, using Eagle Vision will assess the situation. We can see some guards around. With these contracts, we can earn more money if we remain undetected. So let's take out the possible threats before going after our target. There are many opportunities to take him out. See if you can spot them all, but for now, there is an easy one in front of us with the explosive barrel. So we'll free aim and take him out that way. Since we were undetected, we also got that cash bonus. And now we escape the scene. Now that we've escaped, we'll take a look at our map of Havana. As you can see, there's a lot of activities, missions, and collectibles. Lots for you to do, but for now, we'll head to a shop to upgrade Edward's guns. You can upgrade Edward to carry up to four pistols. But here, we are going to upgrade the guns themselves. 
Since we're after the weapons dealer Julian Ducasse, we will upgrade to the most powerful pistols our money can get. And of course, there's a lot of customizations and upgrades you can get for Edward. So we've left Havana and reached our target's hideout. Here we can see that Ducasse is on that man of war off in the distance, so we'll have to go through this jungle to get to him. Jungles are places where we really push the immersion and the feel. With Next Gen, we're able to have a lot more physics on the plants, translucency through the foliage, better lighting, and much more dense environment. Now that we've reached the village where Ducasse's ship is docked, we want to remain undetected so that we can reach him. Here we have a new hide spot called the Hiding Door, good for taking out a guard and keeping his body hidden. You are a true assassin when height is in your favor. In every location, we've made access to rooftops easy. This, along with strong stealth rules and mechanics, are what fans have been looking for. We're showing off a new weapon, the Blowpipe. Using Berserk darts, you're able to manipulate and control the AI to attack his own allies, even animals, and Edward himself if the player is not careful. There are many ways to get onto that ship. We can go up to the masts, we can go from the front, but for now, we're gonna take him out from the stern of the ship. Now that we've reached Ducasse without alerting him, Let's use our newly upgraded pistols to take up some of his guards, and finally, a headshot to take him out. Thank you for watching.